In this tutorial, we're going to look at order of operations. Now, what do we mean by order of operations? Well, let's start with an example. Let's look at the calculation 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. So we have a calculation here with two operations in it. So we've got an addition and we've got a multiplication. So there are two ways we could do this. We could either start from left to right, doing the 2 plus 3 first, or we could go from right to left, working with 4 times 3, then adding the 2. So let's try the first option, from left to right, and let's do the addition first. So if we do 2 plus 3, and then after that we can multiply by 4. So the 2 plus 3 gives us 5, and then we can multiply by 4, which will give us an answer of 20. Or we can try the second option, which would mean starting with the 4 times 3, or the 3 times 4, it doesn't matter which way around we do that and then we can add the 2. Now 4 times 3 gives us 12 and then we add the 2 so we have 2 plus 12 and that gives us an answer of 14. So we've got the same calculation and two different answers. So that's a problem. Now fortunately in maths there are rules about which order you should do calculations in, which order of operations you should, should do things in. So the order of operations goes as follows. We start with brackets. And then we move on to indices, so that means things like uh, something to the power of something else. So indices. And then we do division. I'll just put div down for division. Uh, and then we go on to multiplication. Okay, let's put mult to keep that short. Uh, and then we do addition. So we add any additions in, in the calculation. And finally, we do subtraction. Now the way I like to remember this order of operations is by looking at the first letters of each of these and it spells bid mass. Uh, you may have heard of bod mass or ped mass and that's when people use different uh, d different wording for, for this. So ped mass would be for parentheses and exponents. It, they mean the same thing but uh, but people have different ways of remembering it. Um, uh, I would I prefer calling them brackets and indices so bid mass is the way I remember it. So let's go back to our original example. I'm going to put the, that, that calculation in the colours we've got here so, so that you can see how they match up. So we had 2 plus 3 multiplied by 4. So we have our two, two operations within this calculation, the multiplication and the addition. And now we can see in our order of operations here that multiplication comes before addition. So we have to do the 3 times 4, the 3 times 4 first, which gives us 12. And then we add the 2, because that comes after multiplication in our order of operations. So we do the 3 times 4 first to get the 12, and then we add the 2, and we get our final answer of 14. So in this case, 14 is the correct answer, not the 20 that we had uh, had previously. So let's take a look at one more, slightly more complicated example. So we have 2 multiplied, and then in brackets, by 3 plus 2 divided by 5. 
So looking at the top of the list of what we have here, brackets always come first and we can see that we've got brackets here. The 3 plus 2 is inside the brackets or inside the parentheses. And so we do that a bit first. So we put the 5 first for the 3 plus 2 inside the brackets. And then we have the 2 times 5 and then divided by 5. So the next step on our list is to do the division next. So we have 5 divided by 5 and that gives us 1. And then last of all we've got the multiplication left multiplied by 2. So we have 2 multiplied by 1 which gives us our final answer of 2 because 2 times 1 is of course 2.